up guys, it's Christian here back at you for Sneaker Talk with a brand spanking new vlog. We're here in Japan and today's a big day. Today we're going to a couple different... <laughs> today we're going to Bape, we're going to Guess, and there's two big drops happening today. One of them is the Baby Milo drop. No, no. <laughs> today is the uh, Minions drop, I mean. So there's some really ugly Bape clothing being dropped and then you just scuff my J's. You just you just scuff, you just scuff my J's. I I can't believe you. We're going to Harajuku right now. There's a restock on some guest exclusive stuff in that store, and the resale is crazy. I think the retail on the shirt is like seventy five dollars. The resale price is like three hundred dollars. So there's a lot of money to be made today. So let's uh, let's go buy some clothing. Stopping by a convenience store real quick before we head out to Harajuku. Gonna grab a lunch slash breakfast. We haven't had anything to eat for a while. We did the like massive $100 Japanese challenge, but uh, that was not the greatest thing to do. What do we have here? We got some wraps, we got some sandwiches, got some of the, ooh, sushi dishes. All right, you know what? Maybe grab some of this. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Uh, one thing to note about Japan is you're not allowed to eat on the subway. You can drink, but you can't eat on the subway, so I'll chow down on my food right now. Got this orange Fanta. I got this like meat bun looking thing, which I'll save for later since it's in a little bag. And we also got this beautiful skewer of chicken. This stuff is heavenly. We're about to get to the subway, but one weird thing about this area we're in is that there's three convenience stores in this one intersection. Another family mart over there, and a 7-Eleven back there, and we were just in a family mart a block away, and then there's another family mart even farther behind me. So there's five convenience stores in one little area of this neighborhood. It's pretty crazy. So here is the lineup for guests ASAP Rocky. I'm just playing guys. This lineup here is for Goro's. Nate Richard, can you explain what Goro is? Goro's is like a handmade jewelry. Right, so if you look at everyone's neck, yo, this guy's iced out. You need to have Goro's to be able to buy Goro's, unless it's your first one. But yeah. if you resell it because it sells like crazy, you're never allowed to buy it ever again. Like, they will ban you. So this lineup is at least like, how many people you think deep? 250, 300? Damn, bro. And here's the guest, more than more than 400? Weekends, it's even worse. Dang. Here's the guest store. We've got the restock. Let's see if we can get anything here. This is just at the front of the store. They got some slides here too, but they got some of the ones with the dollar signs. White, black, cotton candy, this like other color. We're gonna grab some of this right now. Oh, they even got the blue one. So unfortunately, a big L. They didn't have the restock of the other colorways, but we're gonna walk away with at least a little W. I'm grabbing four of these shirts. So one really cool thing about shopping in Japan is if you have a passport, you can get no tax. So save some money and bring your passport. Arigato, thank you. Richard is grabbing some himself. That was an itch, not a dab. He's, he's not gonna dab today, I swear. So while we were cashing out at the guest store, a person actually who watched the channel came up to us and said, hey, I think it was from Kensington Market. Yeah, Kensington Market. He's like, yo, are you the Toronto guy? Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. A little stop to the Adidas store. Let's see what they got in here. Here's a look at the boost they have. They got the parlay cage, triple whites. Uh, uncaged here, nothing too crazy. Check out this like mirror escalator thing. I've seen so many cool videos with it, so let's just do a quick little uh, copy of that. We're back walking on the sidewalk again, and this is the girl line right here. But check it out, they have Camper here. Now, Camper is a chain of fake streetwear in Toronto. Pacific Mall has a few of them with like Bape and all that crap, so I wanna go check out Camper in Japan and see if they have fake stuff. So, yeah, Richard says it looks like a random shoe boutique and that's exactly what it is. Wow. So we've been walking on the side street for like the last five, six minutes and we've spotted like seven different people with Bape shopping bags and that means Bape is nearby. It's actually right in front of us. Let's go see what we can cop from this uh, Bape drop. Here's the lineup for the Bape store. Pretty wild. Not that bad though, actually, so. 
take Red and line up real quick. So we've actually decided to uh, take a detour. We're not going to wait in the Bape lineup because it's going to take about an hour and it's scorching hot right now. We're going to Moto Sando. A Moto Sando. A Moto Sando. So we're inside of this giant mall and check it out. Look at these bear brick displays. Damn, bro. And even down there too, this place is pretty lit. One really cool thing about this mall is it's actually shaped like a spiral. So you go up one way, come up the other, and then you end up walking around here, and you can go up again and again. So it's just a really, really cool Japanese mall. So the floor that we're on has Mason Margiela, Valentino, Balmain, Giuseppe, a bunch of other stuff. We're gonna go to, where are we? Where are we going in? We are gonna get going to Minicom Toy Plus and check that store out. So we're inside of some random streetwear store and like, look at this piece. It's like oh, cut and sew so is insane. Palm, Palm Angels. <laughs> Palm Angels. Yeah. Medicom Toy Plus. Let's see uh, if we can get any bear breaks here. Like little mystery packs. So you open it up and you have a random chance of getting any of these. Ooh. They got some Attack on Titan bear breaks here. Here's a look at like the display of bear breaks. Check this out, there's so much benches and seating area around the trees and in Japan they even have designated smoking areas. Just bumped into a subscriber in Harajuku, what's your name man? Okay, man. Nice to meet you, I like the uh, the shoes you're rocking today. Hey, okay, okay. Yeah. Shout out my boy Marcus, yeah. shout out my boy Tariq. New market foot locker game, you feel me? Hey, that's what's up. Nice to meet you man, right. take it easy. So we bumped into some of Richard's friends, so we're actually gonna go have lunch with them. So we found this ramen spot in this little, little area, and uh, you actually have to order off of this machine, and then you sit outside, and then you go inside and eat. Here's what I can order from, and uh, Richard ordered the ramen and fried chicken. It's a safe bet. Lunch was amazing. Give me this, fam. So we just had some super dope lunch. It was actually really good. Right now we're gonna get some gong sha. I don't know if, oh, you can see it. What's your favorite flavor though, fam? Uh, I like the coconut mango thing they have. They have this place in Toronto and it's my favorite bubble tea spot, so I'm really surprised they have it in Japan too. <laughs> Just bought some bubble tea. I got a mango smoothie and I spent about 10 Canadian dollars on it, but it looks really, really good. Take a look. Pulled up with the taro, got the, the pearls in it, and then the nacho de coco. All the Filipinos. 35, 30, 60 degrees Celsius. Hot as hell. It's like 38 Hot as hell. This is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Monkey time. Ooh. Okay, okay. We got some van checkered vans. We got some of these flame van skate highs. I'm thinking about buying those. I probably buy them here. Check it out. Yo, they have some fire in here. Like, look at these pieces. This is like teal one. We got zippers on the side, elongation in the back, YKK zippers, and they're on sale for half price. So it comes to like, damn bro, this ends up coming to like $35, $40. That's insane. Got some Thrasher here too. Just basic tees. And those purple camel pants I always see on Instagram. We also got these navy blue guest shirts we just bought. Great ones. So right now we're in the store that sells a lot of Stone Island. And uh, thinking about buying this white piece right here. I'm on the fence. Nathan is like selling it for me. Where do you go? Oh. <laughs> Nathan's like selling it for me. But I'm going to have to do the math and see if it's possible. This piece is actually really, really dope as well. 29,000, no, 42,000 yen. 40% off. It has Jeez. zippers down the middle. And you got buttons. And of course you have to have that flex patch. But uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to think it over today. So the very next store we're hitting up is called Kinji. It's a thrift store. So let's go. Uh, let's go see what kind of finds we can get in here. A few moments later. Just finished up at the thrift and we got four new pickups. And if you guys want to see what I picked up for the thrift challenge video in Japan, I'll leave that video linked down below when it's up. Yo, there's so many umbrellas here. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we have one more store to hit up, and it's a sneaker store. We're gonna do some sneaker shopping at the end of this vlog. And uh, ooh, matching shoes, okay. We're gonna hit up ABC Mart, a 
popular, popular sneaker chain in Japan. They have them like all over the place. It's like the Full Locker, you could say, of Japan, or the Champ Sports of Japan. Hopefully they have some heat there that I can buy. Ooh, baby, here we go, here we go, here we go. their van selection and I'm telling you guys you can find these everywhere in Japan some skate highs what else we got here they have a bunch of like GR Adidas here Stan Smith superstars gazelles all that good stuff Ooh, what's over here what's what's that I see oh baby here's a look at some of the Adidas we have in the store Adidas and Nikki runners red colorway some uncaged ultra boost these Yeezy look-alikes these ones these ones really, really look like Yeezys in my opinion. And then we have a new tubular model. These are tubular something rise. else. Tubular Rise. These are pretty cool. This is what I was ooh babying earlier. The Adidas EQT supports 9317s in that white glitch. Whoa. How are they fam? Hey. Is it a cop? It's a cop. Ooh. Jerry Lorenzo, what's good? To look at the Pumas they have. These are sick, yo. These are really sick. Limitless high Pumas. You guys already know. Sugi Sensei. Oh, this is not the Sugi Sensei. This is the Blaze Evil Knit. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, what on earth are these? Are these Vans Air Force One mids? What? Got them in the black colorway and the white colorway? Okay. These are the uh, NMDs they have out. XR1s, R2s, no R1s anymore. Yo, these Converse are sick. Look at these All-Stars. With that leather half-star on the side and the zipper. You got a black colorway too. Okay. These Converse here with the red, white, and blue. Ooh, baby. I've never actually seen the Converse weapon in person before. Man, the quality is decent on these things. 9,000 yen, it's like 100 bucks-ish. Pretty solid shoe. Back in my bedroom, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Japan vlog. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button down below and comment ramen gang. And uh, the sneakers we ended up buying this day were those Vans, uh, these old schools. Yeah, old schools. No, skate lows, old schools. Vans, old schools with that checkered print. These things right here are so sick. They're very reasonable price and very accessible. I think I paid 80 Canadian for these in Japan. They're going for about 100 Canadian plus tax in Canada. And uh, it's a really versatile shoe. I'll talk about it more in a video dedicated just to this shoe. More Japan vlogs coming soon. Subscribe for the Yeezy giveaway. Follow me on Instagram, it is at SneakerTalksCA. We're almost at 14,000 uh, followers over there. And also, if you haven't yet, join the Snapchat gang, the Snapchat family. It is at SneakerTalksCA. I will add you back. And uh, for a little giveaway we did over on there, exclusively to Snapchat, we gave away some Pokemon cards. This exclusive Mew GX Full Art. Yeah, we gave away this on Snapchat. So follow your boy on Snapchat. We're gonna do some exclusive giveaways. We might be doing the Japanese sneaker magazine on my Snapchat. So add me on Snapchat if you want to shop at getting this magazine but yeah catch you guys in the next video hope you have an awesome day <laughs>